How big is one ten thousandth of an inch or a tenth? Or better yet, what's the diameter of a human hair? Well, understanding these perspectives and what these sizes are will help you better be a better engineer, a better designer, and a better machinist, and will help you understand what size these really are. When I was in engineering for a company, we actually threw away a part that was one ten thousandths of an inch oversized. It was a through hole on a machine screw. Now, it was oversized, but we had design rights and we could have passed it, but we scrapped it. We scrapped it because we didn't understand how small that diameter really is, if it's one ten thousandths over. So, I'm going to share with you in this video one of my favorite diagrams to help demonstrate these sizes to you and uh, help you better understand when you're designing engineering or what have you, and we'll get to it next. So, here is the diagram I always show uh, newer engineers to help demonstrate what these sizes really mean and are and how small they can really be. Because when you're down to the 10 thousandths of an inch, like I am in aerospace, um, you kind of lose your grip on what the reality of that measurement is. So this helps demonstrate it. The, here it is, and the blue, the blue is the size of a human hair which is three thousandths of an inch in diameter. Three thousandths of an inch in diameter is um, a pretty common uh, measurement in machining. And I always, as a, a rule of thumb, by the way, uh, you can feel that if you have a ridge that's three thousandths of an inch or a scratch that's three thousandths of an inch deep, you can generally feel that with your thumb, thumbnail. If you run your thumbnail over it, you'll feel it. So if I can feel a scratch, like in aerospace, because I deal with a lot of r repair work, if I can feel that scratch, then I know it, it's around three thousandths. Now there's better measurements than a human thumb, and by the way, it's not calibrated. So, um, but it gives you a general idea of, of sizes. So we're going for the human hair that's blue. And the next thing that I always tell people about is a dust particle. Now, dust that you see flying around in the air, a dust particle is about one-tenth and a half in diameter. So that's one and a half ten thousandths of an inch in diameter. And that's getting really small. Um, a lot of aerospace measurements go down to one-tenth, and uh, some machining bearings will go way below that. Uh, and it's important to understand that because you will get in repair or MRB work, you'll get something that's 21 inches in diameter, a large diameter, and it'll be out a few tenths of an inch, a few ten thousandths of an inch. And if you don't quite have a gri grip on what that measurement is, you'll end up throwing out that part and that's an expensive part in the aviation world. So the dust particle is pretty small, but getting any, any even smaller is a particle of smoke. And this is my favorite one. I always tell this one. A particle of smoke is about one-tenth of an inch, one ten-thousandth of an inch. And that's really small. I mean, it's, it's flying around in the air. You can barely see it. You just see the, the group of smoke. You know, you don't see the individual particle. And that shows you how small a ten thousandths of an inch is and helps you gain perspective. Now, the gray, the larger gray, that's one thousandths of an inch. So it's three times smaller 
than the human hair. And uh, one of the more uh, common measurements is a half a thou, and it's shown by the, the smaller gray diameter. Um, so this kind of gives you an idea. I mean, there's uh, 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 some other things on there, but I think that pretty much gives you an idea of, of how small these measurements are and how small they can get. And sometimes we need to keep that in mind when we're designing or when we're doing MRB work, uh, material review board work, to where we're, uh, we're uh, trying to evaluate parts that are non-conforming. So I hope this gives you an idea of what we're dealing with size-wise in engineering and design. And uh, I'll post another video that explains uh, some machine uh, shop talk and how these different uh, measurements are communicated in the machine shop world. If you like this video, please like or subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video.